Hi everybody. So it's been a while since I've made a video, but I finally have the time because I'm on summer break from college. So excuse the background noise. I live by a train station, so every 10 or 20 minutes a train passes by and it's very loud. Excuse my voice. This is very deep today. So I decided in order to keep up with YouTube, I'm going to do a monthly gallery visit around the city. So because I live in New York, there's a lot of galleries in the area. So I'll be visiting every month and make up a video of three to five artists that I like. I have another video discussing school life and college and everything. I go to Parsons. I'm in the school of design. So I'll be like elaborating on that. I have some friends from high school that are upcoming freshmen. So it's like they asked me a couple questions, but I'll just put it all in another video elaborating on like the application process, what to expect when you get here and all the other good stuff. I visited three gallery installations that featured James Terrell, Richard Serra, a Janet Cardiff and George Miller collaboration. I felt kind of rushed to film everything because when we got there, it was nearing the closing era of the galleries. Galleries usually usually close around six in the city. It's kind of weird because the city usually is more awake at night. We got there, like me and my friend got there around five-ish. So we had an hour to like run around. We weren't able to cover all the galleries, but we did have previous footage from a gallery visit. So we ended up using that. Also, a lot of galleries that do big features such as like James Terrell, Dan Flavin, and Doug Wheeler. Uh, the people that run the galleries and work at the galleries, they don't like it when people do that. They just come to take photographs. A lot of light installations, because that's one of the things that I like to like study and whatnot in big installations. A lot of these kind of installations, people do just come for the photos. Like they just come to take pictures and then post them on social media and everything. So it is understandable why they're very particular about people coming in just to take pictures. But it's just when we do these kind of visits, we have to be careful just to make sure that none of the workers see us or none of the um, security guards are like, hey, no photographs and everything. So luckily that wasn't a problem for us. Next time I'll definitely try to get better footage because again, I did, I did feel rushed to make this video or I did feel rushed to, to get the, um, the footage that I needed considering time constraints and like, um, and like just like rules of like taking pictures at the galleries and everything. I'll actually try to use my film camera instead of my phone. Last thing I want to mention, I'm not sponsored by any of these galleries. I just do this in my free time and I just want to be able to kind of dive into my interests. So here's the video. I'll touch back with you guys after the video, just elaborating on a couple more things. I'll be discussing plans for over the summer and other projects that I'll be doing. So enjoy the video.
guys enjoyed the video synopsis. So a couple things that I'm going to touch on before the end of the video. First of all, I am still revamping up my bedroom. It's about like 50% complete. We ordered some furniture lately, so I'm still organizing stuff, especially since the term just ended and like the school year's over and whatnot. I have to like collect myself and gather everything and just rearrange my stuff around and organize my room. But for the past couple of months, ever since we moved, I have been like looking up room tour videos and deciding how I want to arrange my room and whatnot. I have an idea of what I want my room to look like. I just have yet to complete it. Next, this summer, I'll be working on different projects and I'll be traveling. I was going to go back to Europe, but instead I think I'm going to go and visit Canada with my family because I haven't been there. If there are any galleries in Canada, specifically Toronto or like Montreal or something, that you guys can suggest, leave it in the comments and like later on in the summer I'll like see what I can arrange and whatnot. I'll definitely do a video of them and like that will be one of the monthly videos. I'll choose three to five artists that I like and I'll do like a video synopsis about them. Thirdly, I am working on my website. I started a website earlier in the school year just so I can display my schoolwork, but I'm gonna further expand on it more. So basically my website, what I wanna do is I wanna feature like artists, like underground and upcoming artists from around the city. It's basically gonna be like a, an online art collective, but I'll elaborate more on that later on when I get the chance. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.